Hello! In today's video, Tommy and I are going to be doing some apartment updates like hanging up our curtains using our new drill, patching some holes in the bathroom, and just making our place feel more like home. I hope you enjoy! Time to fix the lights! We did not get a chance to put up the curtains yesterday because we watched the sunset like you saw and went moon chasing, which those pictures, am I right? Like crazy, crazy, crazy. So this is where we're gonna hang them eventually, but it didn't actually come with drill bits. So last night my dad and I rushed over to Canadian Tire on Canby Street just to grab a couple or like a package of them and then proceeded to walk like four miles around just to get the sunset and then also the moonrise. So that was a lot of fun. I know I showed a little haul of things yesterday. We're gonna get to the curtains, I think sometime this week, hopefully, but maybe this weekend. This I also bought because there's a hole in our bathroom wall. Kind of want to practice with the patching. Uh, and I got a little spatula for it that I put away. I don't actually have a proper toolbox, but I have all the stuff stored. Like, I, you saw the time lapse yesterday. So that is kind of what I'm thinking about. Just, you know, maybe getting something else to put all that stuff in. But right now, we're, that's where we're at. I assume it won't reach the base there right now. It might, but like, it will. No, it won't. That's gonna be very tight. Okay, so I can take one of the other cords I have. I could. Okay. So if it wasn't obvious already, I'm trying to do the curtains at 9.30 p.m. Gremlin. Gremlin hour. Gremlin hour. Okay, so I fit this pretty well, according to Tommy, which is great. I've measured several times, but it'll probably still be like a little bit wrong in some way because this is literally the first time I think in my life I've ever used a power drill. So, it's just, it's just a drill? I think so. Are they not called power drills? I mean, I guess it is power. It's powered. just a drill. <laughs> Okay. Power drill. Power drill. It's a power drill for me. No. Exactly. No. Oh, you can be out here for supports? Yep. Thank you. That's scary. Safety first. So this is not correct? Oh my god, it has a pig. Okay. This is my first time ever using a power drill. Keep that in mind. Be nice. It does look quite tiny. All right, then let's go to the quarter and show you what to suggest. It's just, it might kick a little more if it gets stuck, is the issue. So what do you need? Uh, the, yeah, no. Thank you. Because of the exact location of these, I'm actually not tall enough to reach by just standing on the couch or the windowsill, so I'm really glad Tommy was able to help me because it was a little bit out of reach. Home improvement projects like these are really addicting, and I'm really looking forward to doing more of these together. Even though we're just in a rental, we can find ways to make it feel more like home, and we've really been doing that over the course of the last five years. We do have some other updates coming soon within the next couple of months, and I'm really looking forward to them. I'll show them again in the daytime, but I think they look very nice. Nothing like a good gremlin hour. Basically a full hour too. We did it. Teamwork, teamwork. It's really inconvenient that we don't have those 
two plugs, but then again, there's not a shortage of outlets. In this. Yeah, we've got we've got a fair few outlets for two people. Busy day, banked some overtime so other people could leave early, and I'm home now. I have very little to do all weekend, and it's actually a holiday weekend too, so I don't work Monday. I don't work again until Tuesday, so this is great. This is very exciting, and I wanted to show the curtains during the daytime. So this is how bright, beautiful, and airy it looks when it's fully open like this, but it is way too hot for that at this specific point in the day. I think during the winters or other times we might be able to leave it open for longer, but right now this is, you know, all the brightness it brings in. And even Tommy last night, I was telling him, cause I was just standing out here at like 11 and I was like, it's really brightened our place up. He's like, yeah, this looks like really good. They actually wouldn't have thought to do it, but I finally was like, yeah, why not? And like the color was the right choice too. Cause it goes with, the floor, the rug on the floor and like the gray with the couch really matches this well and then the white just kind of pulls it all together. So yeah, it just brightens up the place so much even when it's very dark outside. So yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch now at 5 p.m. because it was an insane day. Honestly, I kind of just want to stand in front of the AC right now. That's where I'm at. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm gonna run tons of laundry. I want to show the curtains again because I hung them a couple days ago. You already saw that footage. And because they're all, you know, you have to like weave them into the rod. It's kind of, it was the correct length across. I just didn't account because I've never had curtains before for the amount of extra it was gonna take to still be able to cover the entire window. I think it's fine for now. So you can see from here, there is some open space on the sides of the windows. And I didn't think about how it was gonna need to be like wider, right? So it looks great with the fact that it's not super bright out today. The sun's coming out a little more now and it does filter it onto the couch a little bit better and it keeps it less hot when we have the AC on. But I think because it was the only time I'd ever bought curtains, it was hard to know how much extra I was gonna need because it's woven through the top here, right? So um, that aside though, I still think they look fantastic and I'm really happy with them. I do have a vision for the desk in the office. So I'm going to probably move the like monitor off of it and a couple of things over there in the next few days, but we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna have some changes. first stain on this new carpet. It went okay. I'm gonna go back over some of it again, but I think I got most of the stuff out of the white, at least almost. Another view of this a little bit later into the day. It's like almost five o'clock. Still looks great. And it's not too hot because clouds. Happy Sunday, it is almost 5 p.m. and we are going to do a Costco run. Another little home project I have, I showed this little patch kit that I got a couple days ago, or maybe been a week ago, at Home Hardware. And I think I'm just gonna have to patch the hole in our bathroom finally. A white patch, pink, um, what is the name of the material? Spackling? Yeah, spackling. And then when it's dry, it turns white again. So that's what I'm probably gonna do now because I'm just like in the mood to like, you know, do something like that. It comes with a sanding paper as well and then is there only one? It's literally only one, so I can patch a single hole. Well, that's not exactly what I expected given how much of this there is, but okay. I feel like it's missing stuff. It said it's supposed to come with two of these knives. I feel like I got like an incomplete kit. <laughs> 
So this is the hole we're covering. This should be plenty big enough. I think I'm gonna try and take off a little bit of this extra bit because it's sticking out a bunch. It's not fully flat. Oh, it looks like a little smiley. So it's pink and it's supposed to turn white when it dries. So we will check back shortly. It is currently 7.27 p.m.